Number 40. While resting, the average 70 kilogram human male consumes 14 liters of pure oxygen, which is O2, per hour at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals. How many moles of oxygen are consumed by the 70 kilogram male while resting for the one hour? Okie dokie. So looks like they're asking for how many moles of O2, right? that this 70 kilogram male consumes. They gave us a pressure, they gave us a volume. So the first thing is, is just list out all of the information that you got and then see what um, formula we're gonna use, right? So they did tell us that we have a 70 kilogram human male, right? That's just the weight, or actually this is just the mass of the human, but he's consuming oxygen and how we consume oxygen is we breathe it in, right? And we can't see the oxygen. So this oxygen is the gas. Remember in this chapter, we only care about the actual gases. We're not really caring about, you know, how much this uh, human male weighs, right? 70 kilograms, because it's not a gas, right? We're solid. Well, we're, we're made up of you know, all different types of things, but, you know, we can visually actually see, uh, you know, a human. So we're more, uh, we're going to be basically talking about the oxygen, right? Because that's the gas. So I have a volume, right? The volume of the oxygen is 14 liters. They told us that the temperature that this, you know, the male is consuming, the oxygen is at 25 degrees Celsius. So I have a temperature. 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals. Remember kilopascals, KPA is a type of pressure. So P equals 100 kilopascals. Okay, and they're asking for how many moles of the gas, how many moles of O2. And we know that moles is N, so question mark. Do we really care how long, you know, this is going on for? No, right? Mainly because if we, you know, run through all the formulas in our heads with gases, there's no time variable, which we will see in a little bit. Now, remember, if you only have one value for a variable, right, there's no sets here. I don't have two uh, volumes. I don't have two temperatures and two pressures. I'm going to be using the ideal gas law, which is this formula right here. PV equals NRT. Now, remember, actually, I'll put, I guess I'll put it in the middle. Remember, this formula is very, very unit specific, mainly because the R value holds all of the other units in its uh, number. The R value is a constant. It's 0 0.0821. It's the universal gas constant. Your teacher or professor might want you to memorize 0 0.08206, but the six will round the zero up to a one. And for me, less numbers, the better. <laughs> so we're going to go with that one. And... This one's got four units, ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. Now, you don't really necessarily need to, you know, remember the units when you're plugging in the R value, but this kind of helps you because that's going to be the units for what all the other variables are. So, for example, the pressure has to be an ATM. Oh, boy. They gave it to us in KPA, kilopascals. So in order to plug it into this formula, I first have to convert 100 kilopascals into ATM. So just a quick dimensional analysis. I wrote down here the four big pressure units that you're probably going to encounter during this chapter and the conversion factor between all four of them. So in this case, we just have to worry about kilopascals and ATM. One ATM equals 101.325 kilopascals. So start with what you're given, 100 kilopascals, and that's a capital P, times by a ratio. This should be like second nature, right? By now, how many, time, how many times have we converted in this class? Crazy. So kilopascals go on the bottom because you want to cancel out the unit. The new unit, ATM, goes up on the top, and then it says 1 ATM equals 101.325. And maybe I'll just bring this over a little bit. 101.325 kilopascals. Kilopascals cancels out. And now we're ready to 
uh, figure out how many ATM that is, atmosphere. So 100 divided by 101.325. And I'll give it a, a few after the decimal, because this isn't the final answer. So I'll say 0 0.9869 ATM. Okay, now we have the pressure value. So I'm just going to give that a check. Volume should be in liters. Oh, thank goodness. No conversions here. They gave us in liters. N is the number of moles. And that's basically what we're solving for, right? We're solving for the moles. They asked for how many moles of O2. So this I, d I have. We're solving for this. We have the R. And the temperature has to be in Kelvin. Ooh, what happened there? But the temperature they gave us is in Celsius. So I just got to convert Celsius into Kelvin. We know that, right? That's all the way back in uh, like the first couple of chapters of chemistry. Plus 273, or more specifically, it's plus 273.15, but this should be good enough. 23 plus 273 is 298 Kelvin. And now we're ready to go. We're going to solve for the N. So let's just plug in our numbers. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to plug in my new ATM value, 0 0.9869, times by uh, the volume, which was 14. Close that up. This equals solving for the number of moles. I just like to put it as X. And then I'm going to times it by the 0 0.0821. And then I'm going to times it by the Kelvin, 298. And we want to solve for x, so just divide by those two variables. Now you can multiply this, get one number, multiply this, get one number, and then do the division. Just for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to do it all in one shot because I don't want to round unnecessarily. So I'm just going to try to put this whole thing into my calculator at once. Remember guys, you should only be rounding at the answer. But try not to round, uh, you know, with like intermediate steps. 298. Okay. So with this, these go bye-bye. These go bye-bye. And now we have x equals, let's see, 0. 0.9869 times 14 divided by 0. 0.0821 and then divided by 298. Now I'm going to look for sig figs. Looks like I'm going to have two sig figs because of the 14 liters. That was the lowest amount. So I'll do 0 0.56 moles of O2. Does anybody really care about sig figs? I don't know. I don't. But that's okay. And there's your answer. They just wanted to know how many moles of O2. There it was, 0.56 moles, just a quantity value. So I got a little bit more than half of one mole of the oxygen. So just to recap, they told us more numbers than we needed, right? We didn't care about the 70 kilogram male because that wasn't the gas. PV equals NRT is only information based off of the gas. And since time was not in here, Remember, this is capital T, not lowercase t. That's why they, I mean, chances are that's probably why they threw that in here because maybe they, they wanted to see, do you really know that capital T is temp and not time? So don't get scared, guys. Just trust the formulas. Trust those formulas and you'll got it, all right? Hope for this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next question. Have an awesome day. And if you want to help us out, tell your friends, tell your classmates, and maybe hit the subscribe button. That will mean the world to me. And I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you. Bye.